Hello. In our text for today, the Apostle John describes the response of a hostile world towards the preaching of the Word of God. Revelation chapter 11, verses 1 through 14. The two witnesses. Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there. But do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for 42 months. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouths and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. They have the power to shut the sky, that no rain may fall during the days of their prophesying. And they have power over the waters to turn them into blood, and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great city that symbolically is called Sodom in Egypt, where their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, some from the peoples and tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them and make merry and exchange presents. Because these two prophets had been a torment to those who dwell on the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. And they stood up on their feet and great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies watched them. And at that hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake, and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed. Behold, the third woe is soon to come. What encouraging words that were written here in the book of Revelation. That in these last days that God would have two witnesses prophesy boldly about the good news. Though many people in the last days will hear the good news about salvation through the forgiveness of sins, many people sadly will not change their ways. And rather than acknowledge their sins and confess them before God, many will choose to reject the church and persecute it. Yet, The Lord has the last word. We who are faithful will be saved. Also, the Lord is with us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he is right now encouraging you to do what he wants you to do. Be strong and courageous as members of the household of God, as his children. Be strong and courageous. 
Share the good news with the people around you. Give them the opportunity to hear over and over again the truth about God the Father and our Savior, His Son Jesus, so that they could also be saved. May God, who has given us this task, enable us and encourage the people around us to listen to this good news and respond to it in a loving, God-pleasing way.